Donald Trump's crushing victory has left many of his critics in shock, especially in Hollywood, where several celebrities once vowed to leave the U.S. if he became president. But are they sticking to their promises? Let's take a closer look. First up, Samuel L. Jackson. Back in 2015, Jackson joked on a late night show that he might move to South Africa if Trump won. Oh, if that mother becomes president, I move my black ass to South Africa. After the election, he clarified that it was just a skit, saying that when you learn the difference between my actual opinion and a Kimmel skit, we can talk. The actor is still here, starring in movies and supporting Democratic campaigns. Brian Cranston, the star of Breaking Bad, said he moved to Canada if Trump won, even calling the idea of Trump's presidency unreal. But after the election, Cranston stayed and expressed hope for unity, writing, I sincerely wish him success. He's been a vocal supporter of Kamala Harris this time around. Next up, Whoopi Goldberg. She hinted at leaving the US in 2016, saying that maybe it's time for me to move but she later made it clear that she wasn't going anywhere. After Trump's re-election meme claiming she'd moved to Canada, Goldberg shot back. I've got a contract, I'm staying right here. Pop icon Cher also famously joked in 2015 that she'd moved to Jupiter if Trump became president. While she didn't leave after his first term, she's voiced frustration, even saying that his presidency gave her health issues. Cher hasn't commented yet on this election, but she hinted in 2023 that she might actually leave this time. Disney star Raven Simone also vowed to move to Canada with her family in 2016. She even claimed that she had a ticket ready. But like the others, she stayed in the US and hasn't spoken about the latest results. Miley Cyrus took a strong stand in 2016, saying that if this is my president, I am moving. She later admitted that the statement was misguided, calling it dumb and reaffirming her commitment to stay and fight for change. Lena Dunham once said that she was 100% serious about moving to Canada if Trump won. But after staying put, she explained that her comments were made in jest, adding that it's harder to stay and face the hate, but I'm willing to try. Finally, Amy Schumer joked about moving to Spain, saying that she'd have to learn Spanish. After the election, she clarified her remarks were not serious and called out critics who took her words literally. Well, so far, no private jets have left Hollywood. And for now, it seems like America's celebrity critics are here to say.